to Life Lemons, a motivational and inspirational wellness podcast. I'm your host, Avery Branchfield. Please enjoy. Happy Wisdom Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back. A quick reminder before we begin. Life Lemons can be enjoyed on YouTube and most podcast platforms. Our supportive community connects primarily through the Life Lemons Instagram and TikTok, as well as the Avery Branchfield YouTube channel. Let's empower one another to face life's lemons head on and crush them into lemonade. Last week, we discussed how vulnerability is a form of strength. This week's quote is, Watch winter fade and spring bloom. This idea was inspired by the changing season. As you know, Life Lemons is about discussing it all. As I like to say, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Today's episode is going to dive into something great and how to take the most advantage of it. This week's photo is inspired by the quote. I will describe it in greater detail for those who cannot view it. At first glance from afar, one might expect this flurry of white to be of a snowy scene. However, it is instead a close-up shot of exquisite white flowers in full bloom. They have green, star-like centers that support slender stalks that are cascading down in true party streamer fashion. Many of these delicate flowers beautifully descend down a sturdy branch. This is repeated with more in the background, creating a sea of abundant flowers. I took this photo whilst amazed at my beautiful flowery surroundings in New York City's Central Park around this time last year. If my research is correct, these are specifically Yoshino cherry blossoms. Are there any species of cherry blossoms near you where you live? If not, have you ever encountered them somewhere else before? If so, please let me know on our online forums. Whilst so beautiful in its own right, winter can oftentimes have that reputation of being gloomy. Meanwhile, spring, despite being rainy at times, has more of a reputation of being more sunny, beautiful, and full of hope and growth. I find the different moods of different seasons to be so beautiful and evocative of different emotions and sensations. Changing seasons represent new opportunities to get excited about life and start new chapters in it. Despite so much hardship and devastation in the world, there is also so much beauty that should not go unnoticed and unappreciated. The natural world offers us so much of that, such as through the blooming of beautiful flowers. Let's take that necessary time to stop and smell the roses, as they say. The blooming of flowers and the arrival of adorable baby animals, as is oftentimes the case with certain species, are intrinsically beautiful elements of spring. These occurrences also can inspire us to plant and care for new seeds of change and hope in our own lives. On top of reflecting, we can perhaps cultivate new and renewed interests, attitudes, and outlooks. With love and support, these things can bloom too, just like flowers. At the end of the day, You can use the spring as a chance to allow yourself to embrace any happiness, hope, creativity, optimism, and love that comes your way. Let's enjoy taking notice of how white wintry flakes and blankets are being replaced by beautiful blooming buds and sunnier bluer skies. Use this whirlwind of natural beauty 
as inspiration to invest positively in yourself, your loved ones, and others. Taking on positive tasks and attitudes is what be bright part of my mantra here is all about. I encourage us all to embrace doing our best, no matter the extent to which that may look on a certain given day, to be bold, be bright each and every day. Our first additional quote of the week comes to us from celebrated Austro-Bohemian romantic composer Gustav Mahler. He has stated, Spring won't let me stay in this house any longer. I must get out and breathe the air deeply again. I love this quote because it's a reminder to do the healthy task of trying to get more sunshine and fresh air. Sometimes people can get too dormant and sedentary in colder temperatures and spend too much time indoors. I am admittedly very guilty of doing this at times. However, this tends to have a negative impact on my health. Specifically, I end up not always getting enough exercise from doing more sitting activities, as well as not getting enough fresh air and vitamin D from sunlight. If not remedied, this can cause potential issues with seasonal affect and disruptions of natural circadian rhythms. Do whatever you can to challenge yourself year-round to go outside, whether that's moving around, or even sitting outside if need be. When you do go outside, though, please also make sure to protect yourself from harmful UV light via utilizing reliable sunscreen and sun protection-friendly clothes, hats, and sunglasses. You will still absorb some lovely sunlight, but you will also be better at protecting yourself against the more harmful elements of sunshine that can have lasting awful consequences for your skin and body. Getting outside will also allow you to take in new and beautiful sights, such as the flora and fauna of where you are. If possible, try to also scout out other locations, such as parks and nature trails, for some interesting and likely very beautiful fresh sights and perspectives. Accomplished Canadian author of novels essays, short stories, and poetry, Lucy Maud Montgomery, OBE, otherwise known as her pen name, L.M. Montgomery, brings us our second outside quote. It is, That is one good thing about this world. There are always sure to be more springs. This quote is an upbeat and uplifting reminder that the spring offers us a little sliver of beauty and something to look forward to. No matter what's going on in our lives and in the world at large, having something like the natural beauty of spring and accompanying milder weather is at least one source of stability and a recurring reminder of hope and beauty that still exists. This week's journaling prompts are as follows. Number one, what does entering the new season of spring mean to you? And how does it make you feel? And number two, what specifically do you think might next newly take root and bloom for you in your life? I encourage you to engage with the springtime as much as possible. Allow yourself to soak in all the sights, smells, sounds, and sensations of this sunny season. Do whatever you can to appreciate the little things, explore, and have some fun. It is my hope that your troubles can start to melt away like the snowflakes and that your dreams, goals, ambitions, Interests and positive spirit can grow and find themselves in full bloom. That concludes this week's episode of the Life Lemons podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, please like, share, and subscribe. 
please also contribute your commentary to our socials. Thank you and see you next week.